Greetings all, Frog here, let's play some GeoGuessr. We're going to do another world challenge here, three minute time limit. That is the bread and butter of our GeoGuessr experience. And we are in small town America. Small plates, English writing, parking on the right side of the road, Cadillac in the garage, and an F-150. No idea if that's an F-150, by the way, just a big truck. And an American flag flying in the breeze. We are in the United States. I'm playing with the time limit. And I'm saying this, of course, because if I don't, I will forget. Robert and Donald Avenue, you live on streets that have names of people. Are you aware of this? This is Elaine Avenue. Oh, is the next one going to be like Fred Avenue? Creekside. Oh, that makes me sad. It looks like I can get out of this residential if I keep going. Free me! Crosswinds. No, it's too small to read. All right, for rent. Five, four, five. No idea. There is, however, a pole on top of the fire hydrant, which to me would imply we are in a climate where snow is a realistic possibility. But, perhaps not. Now where are we? We need to get out of this residential zone if we can ma manage it. Hmm. Henry Drive. Okay. Buck something. Connection. Code of heat connection. Kind of means. Well, that's not helpful. We only got a minute left. I'm still stuck in these the houses. United States Postal Service. Williamstown Bay. Williamstown Bay. Well, that's not really that helpful. Uh, it's a place with railroads, which is the majority of the United States. Honestly, country hearth, delivery truck. 38 seconds left. I've got nothing. Zero zilch, not a zip. Not big enough to see. Uh, wow. Well, I got 27 seconds left. We're in the north of America somewhere. Minnesota. Wow! <laughs> Not too far off. We we're just south of M Milwaukee. Wow, I just, I just picked a bad direction to go, basically. I mean, I should have been able to hit the airport. But I didn't. I was on Henry at one point. There's Henry there again. Henry again. Donald. Is it just... It's just... I don't know. Just got unlucky. But man, 3,000 points for having a no idea. I'll take it. We're driving on the left. So we are probably in... Looking at the landscape, I'm going to say South Africa. No guarantee. We're driving on the left, of course, because of those arrows. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can find maybe one of those famous tree stops. Curvy Worvy. Little community there. I don't think anything. No, that's not helpful. This is much more helpful. We are in South Africa, the R-353. We are 60 kilometers to the south of Fraserburg. On the 353. Now, you see how far we have to get into the R roads. So, I mean, I'm going to have to get pretty lucky, I think, to find 353. We're not going to get 60 kilometers. We're south of Fraserburg. And I don't know where Fraserburg is going to be. I'm going to guess Fraserburg is somewhere up in here. Am I going to get uh, just lucky, random guess here? 353 is the number. Fraserburg is the town. 
I mean, pretty much anywhere that we go in South Africa, we're going to get a good score. But we want to try and get the best score. Here's the R53. See, if it were me, the 353 would branch off of the R53, but I'm sure it doesn't work that way. Hmm. Let's try and look for Fraserburg. We have time, right? There's 60 seconds left, give or take. Razorburg. No, I mean, that's not really helping any. Let's just put it down here. This is in the south. Not sure how I could have gotten that, unless maybe I just knew that that's what the land looked like. Maybe there's more mountainous areas there than up here, which it appears to be. So I suppose had I known that, I'll try and put that in the memory banks for the past, the future rather. 36 and 33, 7,000. Okay. 3,500, I guess, is okay. I did issue a 17.5 at the end. Uh, we appear to be in one of the Nordic countries. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, or a Canada. Uh, we appear to be in Canada. And what I'm doing here is just hoping that this Remax sign says, like, Remax Saskatchewan. No, and in fact, we're in small enough place that they don't even need to put the area code. That's unfortunate, really. But we are in Canada. So it's just now a matter of finding where. Wow, I'm sitting really tense right now. I can stretch out a little bit. What's up with that? Um, you might be helpful. We're in Harry's Harbor. We're on Route 391. I'm not sure what that is. If it were blue, I'd think Quebec. Red, I'm thinking Newfoundland, actually. But I don't know that for sure. 391 is the root number. Harry's Harbor is the town. I'm not sure that's really going to help me. Mary's Harbor. Henley Harbor. Harrington Harbor. I know this is a little ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. That's French. Are we in Quebec? Yeah, we, we slipped into Quebec there unannounced. I don't know why I feel... Newfoundland, but I do. This could be horribly, horribly wrong. I've got a minute left, and I'm, I'm basing this on, on nothing, essentially. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing new fee anyway. Uh, yeah, I was right. It just was on this island. There's Harry's Harbor. The 391. <clears throat> so I should have remembered the island is part of Newfoundland and guessed like somewhere here. But still, we're doing okay. We're over 3,000. Anytime we're over 15, it's okay. Obviously, 20 is the, the ultimate goal. All right, we've got a double yellow line in the middle. Actually, hold on. Let's go back. I would like to analyze the where. Red Sox. It's a Boston Red Sox fan. That could be anywhere on the American Northeast, unfortunately, because they are like a plague. But it appears that we are in America and that we are somewhere in the Northeast. New England, perhaps. Hmm. Um, we're going to go down. I mean, there's a lot of hills here. I don't know if Massachusetts is that. I'd call it mountainous. Um, Lana McLeod, Spera, 802. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with that area code either. And honestly, as soon as I figured out it, we were probably somewhere in Red Sox territory. That, that didn't help. Now, the danger, of course, is Red Sox fans existed more than just the Northeast. 
It's just that that's a greater percentage chance. Here's our ton foot overpass. Just zip right by that. We've got a minute and 32 seconds. I'm going to have to guess somewhere in... Honestly, Vermont probably. I don't know why Vermont either. It just feels that way. That was Pleasant Street. Now we're on something Ridge Road. Vermont. Oh my god. Vermont. So we're somewhere in Vermont. I swear I didn't. I did not play the seed ahead of time. Obviously not. I would have gotten better than 3,400 average. So we're in Vermont, but I'm not sure how we're going to find out where. I mean, Vermont's not that big, so pretty much anywhere I guess in Vermont is going to be just peachy. And we're just not on one of the bigger roads. There's some mountains. There's some woods. Here, we're by Manchester, I guess. Oh. We're a little farther north. Just outside of Proctor. That's amazing. I feel really proud of that one. It's just Vermont. It looks like Vermont. We must be in Vermont. And we were. We're at the end of a street, which is kind of nice, so we're not going anywhere else. Uh, I'm going to reserve saying it looks like anything until I see the language on those signs up there. Smocking Dog Pizzeria? Smocking Dog. Um, okay. I do enjoy smocks, don't get me wrong. And it's a fun word to say. And if you don't believe me, you should. Rue Montagne. Because it is a very, very fun word to say. Smock. Try it out a couple of times. Smock, smock, smock. Smock, smock, smock. Polyclinique Impure sur les Cliniken Kemper Sou. Two languages French and what looks like a Germanic language. So I'm thinking then we're in, in Belgium, right? Amor Lux, Kemper. Uh, I got a minute and twenty seconds. We'll keep, we'll keep going along here. A lot of French, but the fact that that sign was also not in French. I the bus schedule is way too small. Okay, come on out, and then go down, please. Hmm. Ambulance. I mean, it's just, it's in French, but that other sign was clearly saying, it was, that, that was a bilingual sign, if ever I've seen one. So, my concern then is I picked the wrong bilingual French country, but Brest? Oh my goodness, I actually know where that is, but I don't know where that is, you know what I mean? Um, we're going to stick with Belgium and hope, basically, is what's happening here. We've got 18 seconds left. Um, uh, I don't like this gas. I really don't like this gas, but i got to make it because I'm out of time. Brittany. Yeah, we were just in France. So I don't know what's up with that bilingual sign. It looked like a bilingual sign to me. Um, we appear to be on the campus of something. I don't know. Well, 18347. That's not too shabby. It's tough to be really disappointed about that, honestly. Now, we're down here in another 15-minute video. I guess that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, if you enjoyed it, do click that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated. And until next time, cheers.